Hey, what's up? Uh, Operation Android here and in this video I'm going to be showing you the new updates recently added to NDS for iOS and how to transfer your saves using Dropbox. Alright, so the new features that I'm going to be covering in this video is the new iPad UI which basically allows you to have a user interface that's just for the iPad so you don't have to times to the NDS for iOS application anymore. The Pixel Grid which only works for iPhone and iPod Touches which I'll be showing you soon. As well as the JIT which actually does not work and Vibration which is pretty cool and we'll go into that later. But to update our NDS for iOS we're going to go into Cydia. Once Cydia is open, we're going to go ahead and check if we have any updates for NDS for iOS by going into changes and checking if there's any upgrades. If not, then you have the most latest NDS for iOS version or you have the stable version. So go to sources and go to the Angel X Win repo. If you do not have NDS for iOS, add that repo and then check if you have the NDS for iOS testing if you have the stable version i recommend you uninstall it and install the testing version because it's up to date with the latest updates and to be honest is pretty stable anyways we're going to go into our new upgraded nds for ios application and now we are looking at the new ipad ui which is actually the same ui that the iphone and the ipod touch has but it is now optimized for the ipad which makes it full screen and a lot more clear and HD and we all love HD. Anyways here we are into the settings the new things that have been added are the overlay pixel grid as well as the experimental settings which is pretty cool that they have they have the lightning jit and vibration. Lightning jit to be honest does not work at least on the testing it makes it crash every time so don't try it. And vibration is pretty cool and we'll go into that later but right now we're going to talk about pixel grid and when how it does not work on the iPad so when you turn it on on the iPad and go into a game you'll see that you'll get a pixel grid about the size of an iPhone so clearly it hasn't been optimized for the iPad yet at least on the testing version I've never tried on the stable version but you guys can let me know in the comments section below so do not try pixel grid on the iPad because it'll look like this and that's just a little weird Anyways, we continue on and now I'm going to be showing you how to enable the Dropbox Sync. So to do this, make sure that you download the Dropbox application and create a Dropbox account or sign in with your Dropbox and then go back to NDS for iOS and then turn it on. This makes things a lot faster and easier, but if you want to just go ahead and turn it on and sign into Dropbox, then do that. But as I just said, when you enable it on, it'll take you to the Dropbox application, ask you to allow NDS for iOS. And once you do, it'll take you right back to the NDS for iOS application and it'll start to upload your saves and whatnot. Now, this is really cool because when you're traveling across multiple devices, maybe you just use your iPad at home and your iPhone or iPod touch on the road, you can download your saves. Of course, if you have internet connection, from one device to the other and to be honest I think that's really cool but it's buggy sometimes it hasn't happened to me but I've heard from others that sometimes you can lose your save so always remember to save in game periodically and do not rely on the NDS for iOS's save states and now I'll head over to my iPhone so that I can complete the Dropbox link and you guys should definitely head over to your other device that you want to link up to Dropbox as well. So you're going to do the same process you did with the, uh, with the first device and that is enabling Dropbox just how we did before. And now you'll notice that it will upload and download saves. So in my iPhone I have different games than I do in my iPad so it's uploading those saves onto the Dropbox and downloading the saves that were already uploaded from the iPad so now I have the iPad saves on the games I already had in common with my iPhone. Now let me speak of the vibration quickly. Um, the vibration is a cool experimental feature which allows you to feel vibrations when you touch keys when the device is on the mute by flipping the switch which I find to be pretty cool and 
I mean, I wouldn't really use it that often. It gets annoying after a while, but it is a cool feature that they added. Anyways, now you're looking at the iPhone with the pixel grid. Um, for some reason, when I recorded my screen, it literally shows the pixel grid. So it definitely does not look like that, but if you have an iPhone or iTouch in handy and you're not using an iPad, then you know how the pixel grid looks and it doesn't look like this. However, I myself do not like the pixel grid. I think it looks a lot better without the pixel grid being as the brightness is reduced so much when you do use the pixel grid. And now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how it looks without the pixel grid. And as you can see, when you exit a game, it will upload that save directly to Dropbox. So the next time you open a game on the other on another device, it has the latest save. Anyways, I'm going to turn off the pixel grid, as I said earlier, and I'm going to show you how it looks without the pixel grid. And that's just the normal NDS emulation, and it looks just like a Nintendo DS. And last thing I want to talk about is the speed. Unfortunately, speed has not been increased in NDS for iOS for a while now, and that's because they need to finish figuring out how to compile the JIT or JIT, which is the feature which essentially makes the NDS for, I, uh, for iOS or any NDS emulator run at 100%. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please leave a like and subscribe for more spectacular videos like this one. Also, I'd like to speak of Drastic DS, a full-speed Nintendo DS emulator on your Android devices that you guys should definitely check out, as well as Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memory on your iDevice because I will be doing something with Kingdom Hearts in the near future. And finally, please leave a like for Drastic DS coming to iOS.